In this edition of Down to Earth, we would be focusing on few of the important factors. For example, human wildlife conflicts, COVID-19 pandemic, the biodiversity loss, and the Santhali community. Now, uh, across the wildlife conflict with human, we have seen due to urbanization, industrialization, a lot of animals have been affected. Electric fencing is affecting the nocturnal animals as well. So, Parabhaksh is a solar-powered smart animal deterrent light. It is around 10,000 and it has been developed by a Bangalore-based company. The the device is mounted with four bright LEDs which switch on in the night to repel the animals and save the field. Similarly is Kapil, Kapi Cart. Now this is translation for a monkey trap. It has two sound speaker systems which mimic, mimics the voice of the predators and repels the monkey. Again it is priced around 10,000 to 15,000. The next is Earth 6 hottest year. So year 2021 was the fifth warmest year in India since 1901 and as per the climate change report it has believed that the annual mean temperature is around 0.44 degrees celsius above the long average period and with 2006 being the warmest 11 of the 15 years on record in the last 15 years we have seen that most of the states have witnessed wet to extremely wet conditions during these cases increased activities of cyclone landslide storms have been witnessed also the next is james webb telescope now last of it was the 18 mirror segments which were to be deployed and this once aligned in the space would be having a capability to view 70 exoplanets which are in the distant solar system and this has been developed for last 20 years nasa scientists along with canadian scientists and european space agencies have been working and the most key important thing is it can suffer a issue with micro asteroids hitting it it is at a distance of 1.5 million kilometers from earth so there could be difficulty if if there is some uh, technical loophole that occurs now the annual lightning report 2021 which is provided by the Finland Institute says that India witnessed nearly uh, 515 lakh lightning strikes which were seventh most highest in the world and the country sees nearly 16.4 lightning events per square kilometer per year which is significantly higher as per the india state of forest report 2021 which is the key thing that we would be discussing in this edition we have seen that the forest area covered have doubled in the region of delhi but the increase has been very less it's only 24 percent still occupied as forest cover we have a target of nearly one third or 33.33 percent which should be under the forest cover uh, which was a target under the national forest policy 1988 now uh, there have been uh, only few states which have seen increase in the moderately dense forest however seven of the ten states have seen increase in the open forest the open forests are the least dense forest so if we see here assam has a significant increase in the dense forest uh, however moderately dense forest and open forest have increased in the regions of Uttar, uh, Uttra, uh, Uttarakhand. Then we have a decrease in the open forest in the region of Karnataka, but dense forest in Karnataka have increased significantly. Similarly, there has been a high increase in the open forest area in Odisha, a significant decline in the Andhra Pradesh in moderate and open area. So moderate and open dense forests are uh, basically open forest is 10 to 40 percent, moderate 40 to 70 and dense forest above 70 percent area. Climate concordium for this report we have seen that climate hot, hot spots are expected to be affected by climate change and uh, mainly the himalayan regions the himalayan the hilly states would record a maximum increase in temperature and a possible decrease in the rainfall ahead open forest have lesser tree cover as compared to rainforest agroforest trees are commonly seen here and plantation cultivation is seen india's timber is now being imported india usually imported timber from myanmar but in the myanmar there have been new restrictions which have been brought and therefore uh, India now imports from various different parts of the world. India is the third largest importer of illegally harvested wood after China and Vietnam and we have been importing plywood, vernier along with the uh, handicraft required woods that is required and the timber that is required. So these are the list of uh, high risk countries exporting to India for uh, the India's import for timber. We have been dependent on these nations exclusively. Now, 
uh, as we have seen we have been importing the rough sawn wood the veneer sheet the fiber wood and ahead we see a lot of uh, imports however under the iucn classification various species have been listed which are under the critically endangered state India has exported 78% of its timber to uh, actually the countries which have been having strict illegal timber check. So US, Canada are some of the regions and EU again are some of the areas where you have a strict check. Myanmar accounts for half of the natural teak. However, as we have seen the impositions of the restrictions in Myanmar have brought a change in the pattern that have been adopted. Now with the COVID pandemic, there are numerous antivirals which are used. We are now focused focusing on therapeutic management. So molnupipirin uh, is based and developed by US Pharma, Merck and Ridgeback Biotherapeutics and it reduces the risk of hospitalization and death by 50%. Paxlovid which is developed by Pfizer basically cuts the risk by 88% and then we have been seeing criticism for these drugs commonly uh, by ICMR. These drugs cannot be administered to pregnant females because it affects the fetus and damages the cartilage uh, and there have been various other symptoms because of which they have been uh, controversed. The next is monoclonal antibodies. Now Toclizumab is one of the therapy which is used for immunosuppressants and mainly to treat the patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, it is given in combination with steroids, have been highly effective in treating COVID and reducing uh, the impact. However, the efficacy in the case of Omicron has been significantly reduced. Now we are also seeing a version of Delta plus Omicron which is Del Delta Cron which is commonly seen in United States. Cuba is known for its excellent um, healthcare biotechnology sector and Cuba has vaccinated 90% of its population. Uh, the biotech sector here is considered as one of the best sectors and it has facilitated in assessing the people with the low cost life saving drugs to combat the diseases like hepatitis, meningitis, polio and so on. So it has given the people the three dose vaccine. The first is the ablada which is a protein based however the remaining two are soberana which are on the lines of meningitis and typhoid vaccines which are developed and india should adopt something like cuba in order to save the population for this the next is pandemic and labor market it is believed that a huge population would fall into the trap of unemployment and an increase from 21 21 million to 207 million population in terms of unemployment would be witnessed we need to have recovery for various various sectors that needs to be developed and uh, also in the recent years food inflation has been significantly registered not only in one of the nations but, but across the world mainly attributed to the COVID pandemic reduced labor force and uh, weather anomalies and weather fluctuating events which have been witnessed in India even we have witnessed an increase in the wholesale uh, inflation rate which has significantly high as compared to the past few years and uh, also the economic loss from disasters have significantly inter, uh, increased mainly from the climate and weather related events and also the hydrological events the disasters have been affecting also we have seen that uh, the less and the middle developed income groups uh, countries have been affected mainly in the terms of loss of production so Africa Latin America and Asia uh, the losses have been registered here uh, the next important thing that we we focus is the bead model now bead model is a cup and cap model so this is an insurance company which covers 110 percent of the gross premium and if the claim is more more than that then the state government would pay the remaining amount and the insurance company would keep 20 percent of the amount as the handling charges and reimburse the rest to the state government if the premiums are not collected and the claim is not done. The next is uh, we are also seeing a decline in the insurance cover for the crop and farmers have been uh, basically requested to increase the insurance coverage for their crops. The next is the Rajasthan region of Bharatpur where you have the great Indian bustard which is a critically endangered species which marks. Now this has been marked as a critically endangered species in 2011 with more transmission lines and more development in this region. 
there have been a significant decline in the uh, population of the great indian bustard which is a migratory bird visiting this region the ministry of new and renewable energy has found in a filed an application for underground transmission for renewable projects and this would in fact affect the region and the transmission since would be underground it won't affect the 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 flora and the fauna in those regions so conservationists basically are focusing more on green energy solar energy is a good idea which could be distributed and decentralized at much easier pace agri voltics is another way of using solar power in agriculture and increasing the area under renewable uh, energy cover so atri is a project which is alliance for reversal of ecosystem service threat is being used now santhali communities are interesting they are mainly seen in the keonjer district in odisha and they have murals on their walls the murals are the paintings on the walls and this depict uh, let's say two white swans on either side of the flower with pink petals yellow in the center green stem and this is how they decorate their ho home they mark the uh, sohari which is the harvest festival which coincide with diwali or kali puja and also during the special uh, functions bhumji community also paint the mur mur uh, murals similarly uh, jharkhand has received the gi tech for the sohari art which is done by the women in hazaribagh district and they have been involved with different earth colors of red black white and uh, the white kaolin is obtained from the river red color is obtained from hematite uh, river flows with this region have black color from manganese that is carried by the river morum is basically termite resistant and is uh, mainly used in the mural paintings similarly the neon shades are also used nowadays and they are uh, uh, exclusively used the next is ma mango ginger or amba haldi as it is called as uh, it resembles the ginger but has irregularly branched rhizomes and white flesh it is uh, a kind of little uh, sour and sweet taste that is given so this species is known to have numerous health benefit it is mainly used to heal the wounds faster it is used to kill the cells of breast cancer it is used to reduce obesity memory loss no, neurodegeneration and therefore is used in traditional uh, cuisines as well uh, mango ginger is available as dried powders and pickles and uh, numerous other ways in soup sticks etc the next is starvation death uh, this reflects the failure of the government to protect the fundamental right which is right to life and we have seen starvation death claims but the government has said that there have been no starvation deaths in the recent time kalahandi ba uh, balangir koratpur region of odisha reported hundreds of deaths which have been due to starvation the recommended measures are bringing them more employment free kitchen soil and moisture conservation and health infrastructure projects uh, we have seen that 1% of the rural population did not get two square meals a day some months of the year and this figure is more than twice as quoted so definitely there have been issues of uh, uh, starvation which have been witnessed and our aim is to now eradicate poverty hunger and malnutrition devos cooperation is again important now this focused on the impacts of climate change and the pandemic and uh, the global collaboration is focusing mainly on the rules of p3 which is pro planet people and this is where we are focusing on key mineral reserves providing them more support Uh, developing space technology combating uh, climate change and uh, related parameters the next is darwaza uh, uh, gas crater now this is in the turkmenistan karakum desert region uh, there have been prolonged craters because more craters appear in the desert and they have natural gas into the atmosphere to curb the leakage from the crater uh, geologists have set it on fire and even though it has 50 years to continue to burn it was reported in 1971 when the russian drilling expedition was uh, failed here the next is some other important news so direct air captures allows us to capture carbon dioxide and turn it into fuel or get it into underground areas in uh, the madhya pradesh we have a super mom uh, now she gave birth to 29 cubs but is no more uh, odisha jagatpur district there were violence which was mainly uh, the against the farmers and the construction um, by the farmers against the construction of the steel plant in the region
and then also uh, active mobility uh, design facilities by the Karnataka government has been uh, mainly for building infrastructure for pedestrians and if uh, they are not fixed the penalties would be there so those were some of the key highlights that we have discussed as down to earth edition we would be focusing on more updates in the near future so stay tuned for more updates thank you